I feel like I've really, you know, injected myself into the Blevins' lives over the last couple of years. Uh, obviously, we had the – was that last year or two years ago? We had Two years ago. We had the whole charity situation of which we um, simply – basically, the Jessica Blevins tweeted about how she'd never heard of anybody making money for a charity stream before, being paid to <laughs> do a charity stream. Which, uh, I don't know, some of you will remember that. We had actual receipts. And so, you know, when faced with the reality that that was a dumb thing to say, um, you know. I don't know if I was blocked at that point, but who knows. But anyway, that was a whole thing. So, you know, listen, I, you know, and I think there may be some... I want to... I, I, how do I put this? I, I really do try to give people the benefit of the doubt. You know what I mean? Like, I I don't... Okay, I mean, I, I do... Listen, I do enjoy some good cringe and narcissism. I Okay, I do enjoy it. But I really have... I don't want to say I put the brakes on, but I've really just kind of live and let live, whatever. It is what it is. That died down. You know, recently, there was another Blevins flare-up. We'll call it a Blevins flare-up. Um, With the whole... Cool Pokimane drama, right? Of which then Pokimane had a bunch of receipts and ended up going live and being like, you know, why would Ninja be encouraging harassment and, you know, saying that, like, why he was going to contact his rep, all of which was on a stream that Ninja deleted, to which she was met in the DMs with uh, Ninja and Jessica Blevins, his manager who basically made him, if uh, if I'm going to believe what um, is written in the thing we're, we're about to read. Um that uh, that she better um, stop slandering him. Uh, you know, we got a bunch of copy pasta out of that again, and then Jessica, Bla you know, just absolutely making a situation that was already really dumb and stupid, and they should never have been in the first place. Ten times more dumb and stupid. And you know what I was thinking about recently? I it's almost more impressive that Ninja and his lovely wife Jessica Blevins are where they are. And have gotten the bags that they've gotten, considering the sheer incompetence when it comes to managing crisis after crisis, social media, uh, you know, basic social media etiquette, um, basic stuff. Any lawyer would be like, you probably shouldn't, probably don't get in the DMs of somebody that you're having a feud with and tell them they're going to sue them for libel based off of the fact that you actually said everything that you said. Yeah, it is a true... I don't want to say it's failing upwards, because listen, uh, that sounds toxic. Because no, because listen, Ninja was right place, right time. He put in a lot of years of... He grinded Halo. He grinded all... He grinded H1Z1. Listen, Ninja, he's a very talented gamer. Listen, I, this isn't... This is a multifaceted situation, because I also won't take away... Like, listen, she organized him. She helped him get a bunch of these deals. I'm not someone that will take away from any of that. I think all of that is true. That being said, it's still incredible to me the amount of success that they've had when, you know, the mask comes off for a little bit and you just see the kind of triggers that can happen with them, the kind of where you're just going, how, how is this arguably? And you can say, like, oh, Ninja fell off, all the whatever. I mean, yeah, he's made his millions of dollars or whatever at this point. Like, Ninja is and was a household name. And it's just it is what it is. If you think of Fortnite, you think of Ninja. Uh, so whether or not you like it or not, I mean, that is the truth. So all that being said, I'm just trying to, before I go into this, before people are like, oh, you really love to dump on the Blevins. No, the Blevins love to dump on themselves. That is the problem. And mostly, listen, Ninja does some dumb stuff. But his wife, who is his manager at this point, though, stay tuned for the breaking news here, um, always goes and during a crisis ends up communicating and making things worse. And this is not the first time this has happened, but this is not what we're talking about today. I'm just trying to give a little background because I woke up to a DM this morning from Frozen. Uh, I had been, I played a, like a, two games of Madden against Stu last night. And right before, apparently right after I left, having lost the second game, but we'll deal with that later. Um, apparently the, the, uh, they found the article that we're about to, to look at. I, I'm going to say article in quotes. We found uh, the article announcing that Jessica Blevins, in the future, will be stepping down from her managerial duties at Ninja Corp. 
and uh, will be pursuing a an illustrious career in streaming, who knows, movies, I'm sure, voice work. I mean, really, the sky's the limit. Probably her own brand, her own line of clothes at Target. Honestly, you never know. She's go- she's she's dropping the the not dropping Ninja because it's still her husband, but she's not going to be managing him managing him day to day. What publication is Jessica Blevins? interview about stepping down as the manager and pursuing her streaming career on well i bet you're not going to guess sportify it huh interesting sportify it i can't say i've ever heard of it but let's keep an open mind this is they probably got an exclusive scoop from Jessica, you know what I mean? It's probably one of those things where it's like maybe she knew somebody there and was just trying to, you know, it's decent news. It's already, I see it's already getting picked up by like, you know, all the, like Jake, the esports guy and, you know, the other ones. So let's, very reputable. Okay. Yeah, let's examine the title first of all, because I think you raise an incredibly good point, which has been commented on by a lot of people. Jessica Blevins on Life After Ninja. Now, if I was to, ju- and I remember reading the title, and I wasn't sure what to make of it, and initially for me, even though I knew Ninja was not dead, I myself also was like, did Ninja fucking die? Um, but he's not dead, no. I, obviously, it's just, it is a little bit unfortunate. I think it would give people pause, maybe not everybody. Uh, Ninja's fine. Um, but it is kind of a strange, it, or even not even if he's dead, I thought maybe it was like a breakup. I thought it was going to be like, we're, we're parting ways amicably and, uh, I'm going to pursue my career and Tyler's going to pursue, you know, like I thought either death or divorce. It is not. So I'll spoil that for you. So Jessica Blevins is ready to take on life after Ninja. Again, the first sentence still not dispelling the possibility that he's either dead or they're divorced. Man, each sentence in the, uh, uh, Okay. <clears throat> The woman behind the meteoric success of gaming's biggest star, Tyler Ninja Blevins, Jess is on the verge of change. And I bet you weren't ready for the next sentence start. The metaverse darling? No context, by the way, to that. I mean, unless I mean maybe people. The metaverse darling who gained her own popularity streaming Dead by Daylight, (laughs) sure, is possibly best known to the massive gaming community as Ninja's wife and manager who makes every crisis worse. Sorry, I added that last part. Um, No, so let's just take this piece by piece. Metaverse Darling, I don't know what that's... I have no fucking clue. It's fucking weird. Um, It also is possibly best known like first of all i'm we're just going to come out and say it and you're going to see this there is zero there is zero percent chance that jessica didn't write this entire thing and that i don't think a single person was allowed to edit it because it is just horrible writing i'm not saying that she's a horrible writer i'm just saying nobody starts anything like off like this that didn't or, or they just sent it to the site and was like this is what it is zero shot but whatever is possibly best known to the massive gaming community as Ninja's wife and manager. Yes, of course she is. That's not a possibly. That's that's what it is. Now that Jess has Tyler poised to tackle the world beyond gaming, thank God she got Tyler poised to actually, you know, he's ready. She's ready to take her, uh, tackle her own career past Tyler's. Even though the way this is formatted you think? is so... The way this is formed, it's even hard to read because... I mean, listen, I know this is his wife, but there is some serious FOMO going on with even the first paragraph of this. Like, this is the first paragraph, and this is already reeking of, you know, I don't want to say she's, I mean, because of course she's a part of Tyler's success, but there really is, it's just poorly written. It's poorly written. Uh, This is so, it's not that long, so I I know I am taking a little bit to go through it, but I really cannot stress enough, you need to absorb this into your pores because it is so rare it is so rare to have something this narcissistically tone deaf uh on the internet especially because there's a certain level of hubris and also and i say narcissism and i don't say that lightly as as somebody that has narcissist in their lives just you know in general 
this is living in your own fucking reality, and that's what narcissists do. But anyway, on a chilly January morning, with the promise of no glam or mascara needed, Jess hopped on a Zoom call to talk about her next steps, how she made Ninja a household name, and professional life after Tyler. Fuck, that is a rough paragraph. All right, let's just keep going. <clears throat> I'm really excited, Jess starts. Over the last year, I've been growing my brand similar to what I did with Tyler. I have a PR team. I signed with CAA, which is one of the biggest um, like agencies. I think they do a lot of Hollywood stuff. Um, before, I was focusing on Tyler, so now I'm focusing on my brand simultaneously. All right. So, oh, man. So this is also, I forgot. This is exciting, too. With a book on the way, an elite Hollywood agency by her side, and her inbox buzzing. I mean, you cannot, you can literally not write something that is beyond parody compared to this. Her inbox buzzing with offers. Jess, like, you can't write something like this and uh, whatever. Okay. And her inbox buzzing with offers. It's impossible not to wonder how Jess is going to make this work. How are you going to do it, Jess? You're so popular. You're, you're following the same path as your husband. How are you going to handle all this fame and book deals and money? Inbox reference? Yeah, I don't think so. I am jealous of her success, obviously. I'll just get that out of the way so people don't. She's a self-starter who's never met a problem she couldn't solve. Savvy but approachable. Oh, fuck. Savvy but approachable. Unassuming but a total boss. This is what the text says. I'm not I'm not inserting anything. This is I swear this has not been edited. I did not open the HTML and change the page. But opportunity is knocking. Answering means less time running team ninja. Right now, I'm really torn. We're talking about when do we pull the plug and do this? I haven't told anyone that. You heard it here first. Fuck man, what a scoop. We're realizing that there will come a time, and it may come sooner rather than later, that I won't be his manager anymore, she confesses. But with how much I'm doing, there's going to be a time where we need to hire a manager that we can trust. Someone who eats, breathes, and sleeps Team Ninja, like I have done. And I can focus on my own stuff and take a step back. But conversations are different than real life. The reality of leaving Team Ninja behind weighs heavily on Jess. The Fuck, how did I miss this the first time? I, there's so many, there's so many just bodacious brags in this that are so out of line. I'm sorry. <clears throat> the classically trained dancer who says her secret superpower is empathy. That one I did not miss and has been. Obviously, this one right now is very hot on the, on the Twitters. Doesn't want to let anyone down especially Tyler. Fuck. I mean, this one right here, this for me, just because of the classically trained dancer and empathy line is possibly a winner for best paragraph, but there's, there's a lot. It's hard to, it's hard to pick. She's an empath, dude. Like you, like you can't, it's like the meme. It's, I don't know. Okay. Let's just keep going. I'm never going to get through it. If we don't, it's almost over. <clears throat> An empath. Yes. Empathy is definitely a word that people would describe. Uh, about uh, Jessica Blevins, especially in her handling, uh, especially during crisis time. You know what I mean? Let me tell you. <clears throat> Jess has long since anticipated having to make those tough choices that come with success since she asked her then boyfriend if she could introduce him to some brands. And then here we go with some real bragging. Those introductions turned into lucrative deals with Adidas, Takis, and streaming platform Twitch. 15 million followers later, Tyler's estimated earnings hover around 15 million a year. Nice. I mean, good for, you know, good for them. 15 million a year. Still. Um, nobody asked, but still. I know this is like, we know what we're doing here. Um, no, no mention of Mixer, which is also very interesting. Yeah. I mean, I guess, you know, again, she wrote it. She's not going to write about it. 
I wanted him to have a plan B. It doesn't have to be where where do you want to be in five years if this doesn't work out. It can be where do you want to be in five years if this does. I've read this quote so many times, guys, and it is like the equivalent of a Tumblr post by somebody that's been hit in, but by, by somebody's suffered a head injury from a bat or something. Like what does? It doesn't have to be where do you want to be in five years if this doesn't work out. It can be where do you want to be in five. Okay, so I think it's like a positive. It's supposed to be like glass half full. I, I still don't. It doesn't mean anything. I mean, unless I'm missing it, I don't think it means that. I think it's just more buzzwords. I I have no idea. I think I think it's like I'm trying to be as generous as possible. I think it's like. Don't think about if it doesn't work out. Think about if it does work out. But it's just, it's way, it's a way more complicated, unprecise, imprecise way of saying it to me. But whatever. Um, she said he's super supportive. Just says without hesitation, he just wants me to be happy. So that is the entire that is the entire announcement. Um, it is a lot to take in. Also, the article, guys. Who who is this written by? Oh, the editors. That's very, hmm. Really be cool to see, like, I don't know, a picture or a name. Maybe even just a name. Even a fake name. Could we even get a fake name? We couldn't even fake. We couldn't even fake it. We couldn't, we couldn't even, we couldn't even put some, like, uh, John Doe down there. Thinking about the fact that Jessica wrote this, and then to try to make it sound real, she wrote, on a j chilly January morning with the promise of no gland or mascara needed, Jess hopped on a Zoom call to talk about, like she made up an entire fucking scenario, but also said with the promise of no, it is, it's, I mean, I, it's nuts. It's just, again, it's not nuts. It's narcissism, it, but it's, it's. It is. To me, it's nuts because I just can't even unironically imagine doing that and, and not feeling like for the rest of my life, I'll remember the time I wrote this glowing review of myself and what I did for my husband's career and then sent it and posted it. And it's now going to be on the Internet forever because all the other sites have picked it up like this is on record forever. Like there has to be a certain level of delusion to be able to write something like this, send it and then just be like, yep, looks good. Yeah, shame. Yeah. I no. I This is an eventual stepping down not happening right now. Oh my god. Oh, she just she just loves saying a lot of articles are speculating after my recent interview. After my recent copy I sent to a no-name Sportify website. God, she just loves she oh, she just slurping all of that that attention in. I'll eventually step down as manager for Ninja, but I'm still happy. So then why did you make a...